Okay, it's the apocalypse, and you've been chosen for Thunderdome. You get to take one weapon in with you, and you pick this. If you're watching this video, chances are you're not out panic shopping. But you are interested in making the Mad Max Mobile even more powerful. Let's take a look at some 500 horsepower LS combos. In this video, we're going to take a look at some dyno proven 500 horsepower LS combinations. Back in part one, if you haven't seen that video, check it out, it's right here. We showed you how to make 400 horsepower out of a 4.8, a 5.3, and a 6.0. This time around, we're going to step it up to 500 horsepower. It's a little more difficult, but we're going to show you what we did to make 500 horsepower out of a 4.8, 5.3, and 6.0. And because guys were complaining, I'm going to throw in the 5.7 liter LS1 and the 6.2 liter LS3. Okay, we're gonna get started on our 4.8 liter combinations. This one is the 500 horsepower motor. Actually, we did not make 500 horsepower from this particular combination, but we got close. And if you really wanna make 500 horsepower, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to do that. So this is our stock 4.8 liter, 336 horsepower, 345 foot-pounds of torque. And here's what happened after we made all the modifications. So for this combination, you can see we push power out pretty far out past 7,000 RPM. This was equipped with a set of ported 706 heads from Total Engine Airflow and a, our uh, fabulous Crane 224 cam, which was a 224, 232 at 50, 590 lift, and a 114 LSA. The TEA Stage 2 heads are good. We've also tried this combination with Trick Flow 205 heads, which work equally well. And we also combine this with a fast LSXRT intake manifold, which is a really good combination for this. As you can see, we made um, not quite 500, but we did make 475 or 476. And peak torque was all the way out here near 6,000 RPM, 5,900 RPM, made 392 foot pounds. Now, if you wanted to make 500 horsepower NA from this 4.8 liter, what you would do is I would want more compression, so we would mill the heads a little bit, yeah. and then also I would probably stick a bigger camshaft in this. The 224 cam is pretty big for this 4.8, but if you went with like something like a 227 cam, and that's like that 54-454-11 cam from CompCams, or something similar from Cam Motion or Texas Speed or Brian Tui, whoever. So I want to know from the cam experts out there, from all of you guys, what would you put in this 4.8 to make it run, you know, to get it up near 500 horsepower, and maybe push the RPM out there a little bit. But this is our 4.8 combination. Now let's take a look at the 5.3. We're going to take a look at our 500 horsepower 5.3 liter combination. This is our stock motor, just like a typical junkyard deal. 353 horsepower and 384 foot-pounds of torque. Kind of typical what these things do with headers and the Holly management system and stuff, just the way that we get them from the junkyard. So here's what happened after we modified this thing. As you can see, like with the 4.8, it pushed the power output way out higher in the RPM range. This thing made 503 horsepower out at 6,700 RPM, and peak torque was 409 foot-pounds. You can see it was pretty flat through most of the curve, over 400 foot-pounds. This was actually the combination that we put together to run our Big Bang nitrous test, where we tried to run as much nitrous as we could, and I failed miserably at that, unfortunately. But this combination made a lot of power. It had the Trick Flow, it was a stock bottom end, but it had the Trick Flow 220 heads on it. It had a big stage four LS3 cam from Brian Tooley Racing. I'll go ahead and put the specs up up here. But that was a 618 596, a 233 250 at 50, and 113 plus three. So it was a big cam, probably about as big as we could fit in that stock bottom end with the available piston to valve clearance. This thing also had a high ram on it with two 4150 throttle bodies because we ran it fuel injected. So it did good. Now there are other combinations that we can use to make 500. For instance, the 5.3 liter that I put together for the Big Bang Turbo deal that I did for Truckin' Magazine. That one also made 500. And it had a little bit smaller cam and also had a fast LSXRT intake. And it had a set of, I can't remember if they were ported 706 heads or Trick Flow 215 heads. But either way, you know, good ported head on a stock bottom end. That's really all you need. 500 horsepower. Let's take a look at this 5.7 liter stuff now. Okay, for you 5.7 liter LS1 guys out there, especially my guys in Australia, 
This is a 5.7 liter modified version that made over 500 horsepower. Unfortunately, I don't have the NA or the, the baseline that we ran with the stock one, but this modified motor had, basically it was a stock bottom man like most of our stuff, early 5.7 liter LS1. It had a fairly small cam and it had the, um, one of our favorite cams at this time, that Comp XR265 cam. I'll go ahead and put up the specs on that again, like we always do. But it had a set of Dart Pro 1 CNC ported LS1 heads, which worked very well, obviously. And it also had a fast um, LSX intake, the early one, the one that Wilson did, the 78 millimeter opening one. So it also had long tube headers and stuff. And we ran this with a fast XFI management what? system way back then. This was already all, all the way back in 2006. So this is our 5.7 liter for you, for you LS1 fans out there. But here's an interesting comparison. Ah, flipped out. You should have. Here's an interesting comparison. If we take a look at our modified 5.3 liter that we did way back, but that had ported heads, cam, and an intake on it. But if you take a look at that, it's kind of exactly what you would expect. The smaller displacement made less power, less torque everywhere than the 5.7, but they're both up there fairly high, and the 5.7 made more power, was able to get all the way up to 500, a little bit more than the 5.3. So let's take a look now at our six liter combination. Now that we've taken a look at the 4, 8, 5, 3, and 5, 7 combinations, we'll take a look at the 6 liter. This is actually a stock 6 liter LY6 with a factory LQ4 camshaft in it. And this thing made 442 horsepower and 467 foot pounds of torque. Here's what happened after we added the sloppy stage 2 cam. Big power. We got 513 horsepower and 491 or 92 foot pounds of torque. So basically, on the six liter, all it takes to make over 500 horsepower. And this is an LY6, so it had the factory rectangular port heads and that factory LY6 manifold. Although that's exactly the same as a as a an LS3 intake. But all you really need is a camshaft. So we'll put the specs up for that sloppy stage two cam. And you could take a look at that but 514 horsepower, just a cam swap on a six liter. Now the same thing would happen with an LQ4 and LQ9. You might make a little bit less, but I'm gonna show you an interesting thing. Again, this is an LY6 rec port head motor with a sloppy stage two cam. Now let's take a look at another combination with this same short block. So look at the power output of that one. A Little bit less in the middle, same kind of out at the top, a little bit more at the bottom. What that was, same short block, but equipped with stock 706 heads with a valve spring upgrade, but a bigger camshaft. It's a Comp 54-459-11 uh, cam, and I'll go ahead and put the specs up there. Let me take a look at that. It's a little bit bigger than the Sloppy Stage 2. That cam is a 617-624 lift split, a 231-239 duration split, and 114 LSA. So a little bit bigger than that sloppy cam. So it has more camshaft and less cylinder head, but there are more, <laughs> there's more than one way to make 500 horsepower out of these six. They're just easy. There's lots of different stuff. Cams from lots of different places, lots of different cylinder head combinations, lots of different intake manifolds. That 500 horsepower number is actually fairly easy to make with a six liter, as we saw before with all the other smaller ones. This works good. Now let's take a look at a 6.2 liter LS3. We will finish up our discussion on the 500 horsepower combinations with a factory LS3, the 6.2 liter. And all you have to do to make 500 horsepower with an LS3, just like with a six liter on the 400 horsepower combination, is just put it up on the dyno with long tube headers and run it. That combination, the way that we run it with the electric water pump and open throttle body long tube headers and an optimized tune, a factory LS3 makes 495 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque, between 85 and 90 foot-pounds of torque. It's a good combination, so almost anything would put it over the 500 horsepower mark. Any kind of camshaft that you put in other than the, the LS3, if you put an LS9 cam in there, any sort of aftermarket cam, even the smallest torque cam or uh, any kind of truck cam is definitely gonna push you over the 500 horsepower mark, usually by a lot. So we'll be using this 6.2 later on a whole bunch to make the higher horsepower levels because 
This combination, like most of the LSF, really responds to cam timing. So if you st stick a cam in this, all of a sudden you look like a hero, the LS3 responds very well. But here's something I didn't try earlier on. Now that we're getting up into these higher power levels, um, we need to start taking a look at some of the power adder stuff. And another way to get this, obviously if you don't want to buy a factory, uh, a factory LS3 motor, or if you want to go to the wrecking yard and pick something up, you're going to get a 4.8 or a 5.3. So what happens if you go to the junkyard and run a stock 4.8 or a 5.3 and then you add boost to it? Well, let's take a look at that and see. So this is a 5.3 liter LM7 just fresh from the wrecking yard. All we did was run it on the dyno the way that we normally do. We added a single turbo on it. This one was a CX Racing 76 millimeter. It was running about 8 pounds of boost and we had a, a small intercooler on it. but and this was eight pounds or so, and it made it well over 500 horsepower. So normally they're around 355 horsepower stock. This thing made almost 550 horsepower, 548. Made a ton of torque, because it actually had a, a slightly falling boost curve on this thing, which is kind of typical of that CX Racing deal. It tends to not, um, you know, it's partly because it starts getting back pressure and that opens the gate a little bit earlier. But this is what a, 5.3 liter can do with any kind of boost. So if you want to go that route, get a stock one, run boost on, run low boost. 500 horsepower, easy. As a matter of fact, you'd have trouble only making 500 horsepower. It's usually gonna make more than that. This, these are our combinations. But the other thing I want to mention is, it's, it's a scientific fact that the coronavirus will not live inside an internal combustion engine. So you need to go out there and make as much horsepower as you can so we can kill the coronavirus, do burnouts, rev the motor, whatever you gotta do. Let's get rid of that stuff. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay guys, what did you think about our 500 horsepower power combinations? Now sure, it's possible to make 500 horsepower from a 4.8 liter or even 600 horsepower from a 5.3 liter, but those become dedicated race combinations. And that's not what these power combos were all about. Personally, I'm excited as we go up and up in power, we start introducing the power adders. That's when things get good. And by the way, if you get chosen for Thunderdome, don't pick toilet paper. Also. Don't pick the chainsaw, they always run out of gas. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. I'll keep bringing the videos.